Hey there, Happy New Year everyone, this is 2023, and you see I've got the hat, I talked about maybe getting rid of the hat, that was kind of because I thought I'd lost it, so I was getting used to the idea I'd never see it again, but I found it, so I'm wearing it, somebody really praised it the other day, and I'm a sucker for that, anyway, I'm going to be brief. There's a lot happening, and that's kind of what I want to kick off the year with is a feeling that in the world I frequent, kind of a cyber world, if you've watched these YouTubes, you know what I mean, what's going on in it? A lot. But I'm going to start light with Facebook. I'm in my Facebook account filming my own account. A lot of it's public anyway, so if you're on Facebook, I don't hide a lot of my posts or anything. You know how Facebook works, right? So we're, we're talking about this picture of supposedly a city in China, and I know there is such a city by name. So I don't know, though. This kind of looks maybe Photoshopped. It'd be nice to do a double check. So that's where Google Earth comes in. And it's cool now. You can just fly around. This has been a theme, by the way. It's fun to fly around. I don't know if we're actually flying around here. We're flying over Tibet, actually. I was going to go. Looks like we're going to crash land in Tibet. I feel like a lunar lander. I feel like we're coming in on this very interesting planet. That it really took a long time to get here. And now we're finally here. Terraforming away. So if you haven't used Google Earth a lot, I tell my uh, data science students, so I'm just going to jump into this world I've been in a lot lately, uh, the geo, GIS kind of stuff is the adjacent neighborhood to what we're doing. We're doing a lot of tabular data, and very standard in our neck of the woods is the Titanic data set. We have an abbreviated version of it. And in today's lesson, which was actually yesterday's, we recapped like a lot of work we've been doing, getting used to the Python stack. In other words, the Python ecosystem, when it comes to data science, these are well-worn ruts. These are um, the kind of thing you'll get in school a lot. There's a good kind of overview right there. And my teaching is smack in the middle of this with outreach to neighbors. I'll go out to Flask and so on, database. Talk about these various things online too, right? So I'm aware of these wonderful demos. It's so much easier to teach these days. Like I can on my YouTube here, okay? So back to what I really want to talk about was today, today in particular, is, and I didn't know this, I had no, no sort of hand in organizing this, but we got to meet two siblings, the a son and daughter of the late Hugh Kenner. And if you don't know who Hugh Kenner is, let me just say briefly, Lionel did a wonderful synopsis before we went into a really good interview session with these two. And it turns out, this was the coincidence kind of, that this is the 100th centennial, this is the 100th birthday of Hugh Kenner. He's been, he's been gone for 20 years, exactly, right? Rob had a great talk about the 80-20 rule and things like this. It was really, really, really an interesting meetup. And then Stroopy has been talking to 52 Thinking Ideas, and let's see, where do I have that one to open? Just... Take a look at this lineup, 52 Thinking Ideas. So these are ongoing, these are ongoing events, meetups, right, recorded. But you see how Fuller, the Tetrahedron, Geometry, all these high culture stuff is happening here in real time and then recorded for YouTube. And it's like, this is better than a lot of universities. Oh, there's my head on the right. That's kind of creepy. Look at me. Oh, my mouse is over it, that's why. That Shrikant, that Shrikant. Yeah, he's doing amazing talks. Very, very interesting. Stroopy as well. And then this other thing was the Trim Tab Book Club was having its normal meeting, right? We didn't plan it to just land on the same day 
as Hugh Kenner's birthday, but we got to meet two of his kids, as I just said, as part of today. So that was kind of my message, that the year's off to a pretty interesting start with things happening all around us. There were a lot of people on that call today. There was BFI, there was... Um, Medard was there, so pretty cool. Paul Hildebrand. We're a little subculture, right? We have our own little, like, big names and stuff like this. All right. Talk to you very soon. Oh, we got a dog for Christmas. That's my other big news. All right. Talk to you later.